Hello, welcome to my first international vlog ever. So today is the day that my mom and I are flying to Amsterdam to start semester at sea. So far, driven to DC, flown to Atlanta, William bailed on us, <laughs> and now we're gonna board our flight to Amsterdam for nine hours. This is my passport holder, never been used. I think they'll have Starbucks in the airport. This could be the last straw. <laughs> okay, update. Plane already delayed, but Annabelle's flying out of Atlanta to go actually to Blacksburg to go to the Tech ODU game to visit Maya and Tegan, and she doesn't board till 6.30, so I think she's gonna come see me, and I'm really excited because I haven't seen her since March on our hashtag don't trip. <laughs> he can't go. Hi guys, what's up? So basically, yesterday we got to Amsterdam and it was kind of a like a 24 hour travel day because we had to drive from Richmond to DC to fly to DC to go to Atlanta. Flight was delayed two hours, saw Annabelle, and then it was nine hour flight in Amsterdam, landed at 7 a.m. and went straight into like a day of doing Rotterdam. Met up with some old friends of my mom's, visited my old parents' house, and did a lot of stuff. But like I was so dead inside, I couldn't start pictures. I kept falling asleep everywhere we were going because I hadn't slept in like maybe 48 hours. Today is our first full day in Amsterdam where I'm not a dead person so today we're doing the Rijks Museum and the Van Gogh Museum doing some shopping I think I'm meeting my roommate tomorrow and that's when all the ship stuff starts we're gonna go ride the metro yesterday we got lost for 30 minutes and practically cried it's funny I love being here it's so cool but I legit feel kind of useless and illiterate because people here speak English but I don't read Dutch and my mom knows a little bit of Dutch because she used to live here I know nothing so I feel so dumb it makes me wish that I spoke like 20 languages but today should be a fun day I'm pumped I want to back I'll give you guys a hotel tour oh now we're gonna go be touristy people and to go to the museums all of yesterday and the day before but if I'm being honest I was just way too jet lagged and literally a dead person to even think about vlogging basically the rundown is my mom and I went to all the museums and had a really fun time um, got attacked by some bees had some really really good coffee it's all happening really fast but basically uh, I'm on the ship which is literally the craziest thing I think I've ever said. Got access to board a day earlier than every other student because I'm considered a student assistant. Coming from somebody who's never even been on a cruise ship, arriving to a port and seeing all these massive ships that are literally floating hotels blows my mind. But this is my home for the next four months. It's a lot more spacious than I'm, I was expecting to be honest. The bathroom is on the low, huge. My official little name tag is right here. This is the first day when I haven't felt like shit, to be honest, because I'm finally adjusting. I had a shower, I had a coffee, I took two Advil, and I'm ready to go. I am now alone because my roommate comes tomorrow and I know nobody else, and I'm supposed to go have lunch right now with the other student assistants and like socialize and that is stressing me out. The goal of this is to kind of keep my like job on the low because I don't really like opening with, yeah, hi, I'm the YouTube girl. I am just so excited. I legit cannot believe that I'm here right now. I don't even understand. It seems surreal. This entire time, I kind of thought that I was taking a fun little trip to Amsterdam with my mom and like I'm going back to tech and I already visited tech. I have my apartment, like it's no big deal. And then all of a sudden I'm living on a ship for four months. We're gonna do a little cabin tour and then I'm gonna have to go make friends and be social and get lunch. I can't even comprehend what is happening right now. Walk in like this and this is the bathroom right here which is actually really spacious and sized hotel bathroom it's bigger than my bathroom at my hotel now so that just says something we have some little space right here the shower oh my gosh it's literally cute like okay I guess it comes with towels just really nice you walk out and we have a little bit of a, a makeup mirror right there toothbrush toothpaste things a little bit of storage underneath then out here is the main room it has two beds I'm in an outside double I chose this bed because there's a little bit more countertop space for my equipment and stuff it's a window outside it's pretty big a little vanity section with a stool and another mirror and then TV this is the closet situation pretty good there's two like this 
and this is additional shelving and also a safe and I'm guessing a place for our suitcases to flatten down and go. We have a bedside table, some artwork. You have to have pretty much like universal converters because obviously when you're on the ship versus off the ship you have to have something that's adaptable to pretty much every country so I did have to buy like a $60 converter but that's to be expected. So now I'm gonna go explore. Right now I'm sitting in some random hotel to steal their Wi-Fi because I actually just uploaded a new video because I was trying to do it last night but literally said it was gonna take 12 hours and I was like, uh, no. I just uploaded my New York video and right now I'm waiting in this hotel because my mom is actually giving a tour of the ship right now because they do like a parents welcome orientation night kind of thing. I got a tour of the ship and it's literally crazy. I still can't believe this is happening. Like it's really weird to me. A lot bigger than I was expecting. Like I literally have a lot more room than I was expecting. Tomorrow is embarkation. So Parcher. I met some really cool people today and it was only the student assistant, so I'm very excited about it. How'd you think of the ship? Ship is nice. <laughs> Any other thoughts? Uh, you're in really good hands. I have to be there tomorrow at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. If we get there at 9 a.m., we need because we were 30 <laughs> minutes late today. Being late is indeed my personality trait. Anyways. We had a pre-embarkation slash departure photo shoot with the ship. Hey, I'm gonna be living there for four months. Isn't that crazy? I'll insert pictures here, but now I'm gonna get on and leave my mom. Okay, so Alexis and I are unpacking. We have all our giant suitcases. There's one. One's already done for me, but there's two over there. We have all our stuff like out in our beds. Honestly, storage is a lot more than I was expecting. Seeing as I've barely filled my closet hardly at all. I need to go shopping, but we have like good storage. Shoes in the bottom. There's way more clothes than I do. <laughs> Sorry. Our bathroom, I brought my thing from freshman year, so I have like my little divider thing right here, which we're gonna have way more bathroom storage than we need, which is perfect. We also have two snack bins. I didn't bring as many, <laughs> once again. I have like two Cliff Bar things, RX bars. My mom brought me like shrink mix, and my mom bought me powdered peanut butter. We make my own peanut butter on the ship. Lots of gum, some candy for when I stay with my host family. Alexis brought <laughs> pretty much like every single snack known to man, like literally ever. She even brought like the best Costco Brookside dark chocolate stuff. So um, meals in this room will be <laughs> in this bin. So I is a great angle. <laughs> um, Alexis and I are going to lifeboat training, which isn't funny, but we just look really stupid right now because we have to wear, you have to wear hats, long sleeves, and closed-toed shoes. Had a little announcement, commencement ceremony thing. We take off in two hours? Yeah. We're gonna go to deck and learn um, all the important etiquette. Okay, so Alexis and I just had dinner. It was really great. We also are now both canceling our flights back to the States because it was cheaper to book a round trip ticket. So I canceled my ticket with no problem, but she's allegedly gonna be on hold for 45 minutes. So I'm doing great. The ship disembarks, leaves port in like an hour. We have another meeting after that. <laughs> my first class officially I had global studies at 8 30 which is the earlier one actually today the ship board merch store opened up so like all the sweatshirts all the t-shirts all the everything's opened I'm gonna show you guys what I got because like, I figured if you see something you just have to get it because it's gonna go super fast and they don't exactly restock so welcome to my semester at sea ship merch haul so I got three things because I wanted to get double sweatshirts and a t-shirt most important things every single voyage they have a unique t-shirt that has all the countries that you're going to I got our itinerary fall 2019 t-shirt I got a large it just says sass in the front of the logo but the back has every country that 
we're going to, which is so exciting. And I got the classic sweatshirt in a large. It's a navy sweatshirt that just has the Semester at Sea logo that's like patched on, so it's super nice. And I ended up finding this on a random table, and I was like, wait, I want it. It's just a champion crew neck in gray that says Semester at Sea. It's really oversized, extra large. I'm probably gonna wear this right now. They have a couple cool beanies in there that I might go back and get. I really want a white sass bucket hat that says it, but I think I'm gonna have to make it myself and like buy a patch and stuff, but like a white bucket hat like is the goal. Basically on A days, I'm already done. I literally have one class and I'm free for the whole day. And lunch is until 11.30, which is so weird because I normally eat breakfast at 11.30. I'm eating breakfast so early. I'm like a morning person now, which is like literally gross. We get to Poland in four days, which is exciting. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing yet. That's the update, happy first day of school. I guess this is my hashtag OOTD. I'm wearing my thrifted cow shirt that I love so much. I figured I'd dress up for the first day of school and wear jeans, even though like for the rest of the time, I'm definitely not gonna be wearing jeans. These are from American Eagle. I'm wearing my white Vans, because I've been wearing my Air Force Ones way too much. My new semester at sea crew neck. This one's from Princess Polly. This one's my monogram from Spring and Wonder. But now I'm gonna go edit and get some work done. I'm excited. Hopefully connect to the Wi-Fi to upload some videos and get some work done, because I have nothing else to do. Alexis and I are planning out our days in Poland and we actually randomly just got connection because we're near Denmark. So we have three hours of service, but everybody at home is asleep because it's 7 a.m. So we're gonna do one day in Gdansk and then go to Warsaw for a few days and then figure out Polish transportation, hopefully, and take a six hour train ride back to the ship. Have a quiz to take already. It's a syllabus quiz for global studies, but like I said, I only have one class today, so tomorrow's my actual busy day. I met some of the ship kids today, which I was so excited about. I've, I've been following one of the ship families on Instagram, and I met them finally, and they're adorable. Going to the gym for the first time because I have nothing else to do. crazy and I quit. <laughs> Is it recording already? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The very first one. It's you can say anything in Polish we'd be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 